Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Tottenham Transfer News with me, Jack Bryden. We've got a lot to get through today, so let's crack on. First up today, the Evening Standard are saying that we are ready to make a £10 million offer for Braga attacking midfielder Rafa Silva. I'm not too sure what to make of this one because we've already apparently sealed a deal for Georges, Kevin and Kudu. This is the one that's been going on for a long time. We all know this. So apparently that is uh, going to be announced sometime this week. He plays on the left-hand side. He did a lot for Braga last season. He is an attacking midfielder, so I'm pretty sure he could probably play along the, the three behind Harry Kane or whatever striker we're playing. He's a pacey player. He dribbles well, quite skillful. If you remember, he played one minute at Euro 2016 in the Portugal side that ended up winning the tournament. So he has got a trophy under his belt, an international trophy. At the age of 23, that's, that's a brilliant thing to have um, in your pocket. 12 goals, 8 assists last season for Braga. As I say, I'm not too sure what to make of this one because we do have Lamella, Son, Onoma, Chadley, might be off this summer, but we do have those players who play in a similar role for us. Admittedly, the likes of Chadley, um, who else have we got in that position that, that might be off this summer? Alex Pritchard, for instance, Mason could be off as well. These are all attacking midfielders, central midfielders that you know are on the brink of, of, of getting into the team. So, you know, I don't really know what to make of this. As well, add, uh, to add to that in Kudu as well, I don't know. What do you reckon to this one? Let me know in the comments section below. So a 10 million deal for him. Not bad, full international as I say. But we might have to sell people to get him, to get him in if that is uh, a true story. So let me know what you think of that one in the comments section below. Next up, another one that I'm not too sure about. The Sun is saying that we are ready to make a 20 million pound deal for Leicester's Danny Drinkwater. We've only just signed Victor Wanyama from Southampton for 11 million quid. I think that's a great deal that we got for him. So to, to then go and spend 20 million, 20 million quid on a similar player who's 26 years old. He was good for Leicester last season, but will he replicate that again this season? Who knows? Did win the title, so obviously that's great for him. But they, uh, Leicester are negotiating 80 grand a week for Danny Drinkwater to stay at the club. Obviously, they, they really want to keep him, uh, having just lost Kante to Chelsea. They've just made 35 odd million quid for him. I think they paid for him. So I can't see us paying 80 grand a week for Danny Drinkwater. We don't, Levy doesn't like spending that much money on players unless he absolutely has to. So I can't see that one happening, to be honest with you. So we'll move on from that. Another one, this is quite an interesting one. Mundo Deportivo, the Spanish uh, publication, claim that we've made a firm offer for 21-year-old Espanol go goalkeeper, Paul Lopez. Now, if you remember, uh, Mauricio Pochettino was in charge of Espanol a few years ago. He has made a few um, appearances for Spain's under-21s. He was given his debut earlier this year. And there has been talk of uh, a lot of people saying that Michel Vorm could be on his way out Although he has uh, played in our pre-season friendlies, I'm not sure what you made of his performances. He did, did make some good saves, but a lot of us seem to think that Michel Vorm isn't quite up to the task at Spurs. Does seem like Paolo Lopez could be a good uh, Pochettino signing though. He's young, he's got a lot of prospects and he's got a lot of potential as well. So if that's something that, that you think might happen, let us know in those comments. If not, if you think the, uh, it's not something that's gonna happen, again, let us know in those comments. Finally, some great news. We all knew it was going to happen, and he's made comments before about this. It seems like every season, every summer, there have been links for Eric Lamella to be leaving the club. He has said, and I quote, ever since I came to Spurs, I hear that I'm supposed to be leaving. But he countered that with, I feel a big connection with the club, that being Spurs, and also the fans who have always supported me so much. Last year, we did well to finish third, and I feel that we can do even better this season. Now, I don't know about you, but it fills me with a lot of confidence that players like Lamella, who did have the fans on his back when he joined the club, have committed their future to the club and really want to stay with us because they see a future with us. With the new stadium coming, a lot of the players are really excited about the future of this club. He is one of our most improved players over the last season or so, and I would go out there to say that he's one of our most important players. Now, he, he's grit in tackles. He might not be the best tackler in the world and he does love a booking, but he gets the team fired up in big games and, you know, he's a big game player. He turns up on those games, he gets important goals. So I'm massively happy that Lamella is committing his future to the club and I'm glad he's staying. So this could potentially be his season as well. As I say, he's really up for it. He's fired up and he wants to just get going, really. So I'm massively happy that Eric Lamel is staying. Let me know if you are as well. I hope you are in the comment section below. So that is it for today's Tottenham Transfer Talk. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, then make sure you do. 
And if you don't follow us on Twitter, then find us at Spurdon TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys. How you doing? It's Craig Vi here for another episode of Youth Watch. And it's the first one of the new season, let's say. The preseason has started. It's begun in earnest. And I know a lot of you have been asking, what's going on with the academy?